Hi, I'm Cameron from Westco Sports and Fitness. Have you seen our footwork video from last year? If not, why not? Is there something wrong with you? It was a really good video. This is footwork part two. In our last video, we discussed how to place our feet correctly onto climbing holes. In this video, we're going to make it a little bit more climbing specific and introduce it into a sequence of climbing moves. You can see here the climber place their foot on the hold in such a way that they can pivot on the toe. This allows you to put your body in the most efficient position required for the sequence of moves you're doing. Once you've mastered this technique on large holds, it can be applied to increasingly smaller holds and it is possible to do it on very small or very slopey holds. Being able to do this quickly is useful and important, but that tends to come later. Practice it slowly, be precise and purposeful. Here we can see our foot model smearing on this volume. Notice that the heels are dropped to ensure maximum contact with the climbing surface. As the heel comes up from the wall, the foot can slip. As always, notice that the footwork is clean, precise and pointed. For more information about this and other foot-based techniques, check out our Adult Pathway. Tune in next year for part three. The footening, can't say footening. <laughs>